If we look inside a transformer, the first thing we see is the magnetic core. The core ensures that the lines of magnetic flux circulate evenly between the phases and increases the efficiency of the transformer. On each leg of the core, we have the HV and LV windings. We have the red phase, yellow phase, and blue phase. Here's our transmission level transformer from before, with a tank and an external cooler bank. Let's look inside the transformer. Here we have the core and windings. We then have the low voltage bushings and the high voltage bushings. We have the mineral oil. The oil flows through pipes into the cooler bank. Radiators are provided to remove the excess heat. They can run in several possible scenarios. The first is ONAN, which is oil natural, air natural. In this condition, the oil absorbs the heat of the windings, rises to the top of the tank, or flows through the top pipe into the radiator. It then cools down as it flows through the small pipes inside the cooler bank. It then reaches the bottom of the cooler bank and flows back into the bottom of the transformer tank. Next we have OFAN, which is oil forced air natural. In this scenario, pumps are operated on the pipes connecting the transformer tank to the cooler bank, and therefore the oil circulates more quickly through the cooler bank and cools down quicker. Finally, we have OFAF. This is oil forced air forced. In this scenario, in addition to the oil being pumped through the cooler bank, we have additional fans on the cooler bank, which cool down the oil quicker. The way the oil is circulated can make a significant difference to the electrical power rating of a transformer. A transformer that is operated in OFAF mode, i.e. oil-forced, air-forced mode, may have double the electrical power rating of the same transformer operated in ONAM mode i.e. oil natural, air natural. Waste heat from the transformer is one of the main limiting factors in how much energy can pass through it at any one time. Transformers are some of the most efficient machines available, with most achieving 99% efficiency. But the 1% of the transformer rating that's lost through waste heat is still a substantial amount of energy, which has to be dissipated through the transformer oil and then onto the radiators and cooling fans. The cooling circuits are therefore a critical element and losing them would mean that we could only feed half of the available power into the network, which could result in some customers losing power or having to reduce their loads. We also need to be aware of the ambient temperature. When a transformer is being operated in hot countries, the ability of the cooling equipment to dissipate the waste heat is severely limited, and the transformer rating may need to be overrated at the design stage to supply the required load.